Hey, what's up guys, and it's time for some official Samsung news. Samsung has just officially announced the power that will be inside of the Galaxy S11, bringing you the Samsung Exynos 990 processor along with a 5G modem. So Exynos 990 is the name for Samsung's next big chipset that will most likely be inside of the S11 and probably inside of the Galaxy Note 11 as well. It is built on the most advanced 7 nanometer EUV technology there is available. We also have the brand new Melee G77 GPU. It's based on a brand new architecture which improves the graphic performance up to 20%. The chipset itself is an octa-core chip and combine everything we're getting about 20% performance boost compared to the previous generation Exynos 9825 chip. We've got a brand new top class AI dual core neural processing unit for all those AI stuff. This it also comes with a dedicated 5G modem, the Exynos 5123. As always, the 5G speeds will be insane if you go for the 5G model. Apart from 5G, this also brings a lot of improvement to the 4G speeds as well. Now, one of the most exciting things about this Exynos 990 chip is that this features a 120Hz refresh rate display driver, which could potentially mean that the next generation Galaxy S11 might rock a 120Hz dynamic OLED display. Imagine that amount of smoothness with Samsung's top of the line HDR display is gonna look and feel amazing. Now it also sports 120Hz refresh rate with devices with multiple displays such as the Galaxy Fold so even the next generation Fold 2 can potentially have a 120Hz refresh rate. Another exciting thing that could actually happen is the 108 megapixel camera sensor. According to the spec sheet, we have an advanced new image signal processor that enables pro-grade photography with resolution up to 108 megapixel. Samsung has announced this sensor a couple of months ago. It's gonna be inside of the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha, which is a super expensive and a super rare product. So the S11 could be the first international device to rock a 108 megapixel sensor. As for the videos, it can shoot up to 8K 30fps or 4K at 120fps. Along with the Exynos 990 chip, Samsung has started the Galaxy S11 firmware development. Currently, the model number that has been spotted is the SMG986B, which is said to be the S11 5G. Along with that, we have the model number SMG9A and G981, which is said to be the S11e and the S11 Plus. Obviously, there will be 4G versions of S11 family, but next year, Samsung could bring more than one 5G flagship model compared to having just one. Now, there's a new report coming from South Korea which says that the Galaxy S11 family will have a TOF camera for accurate depth sensing, and we're talking about the rare cameras. Most likely, the S11 family will rock four cameras, at least on the Plus and the non-Plus model. The TOF modules are supplied by three different manufacturers, from China which means that Samsung is definitely going hard on the TOF bandwagon. It will be used for AR and other stuff as well. So other than the TOF sensor, the Galaxy S11 Plus model is expected to rock a 5x optical zoom setup along with a 108 megapixel sensor for regular photos. Now that Exynos 990 that supports 108 megapixel will be inside of the S11 family, there is a strong possibility that this could actually happen. So that's all the latest Galaxy S11 news. The heart that runs the beast is the Exynos 990. It's official. It's powerful, about 20% compared to the current generation, and I can't wait to see what the Snapdragon 865 model will Will bring to the table. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.